Today on Running to Him. We, as believers, are to walk in God's ways, but we must be careful not to overwhelm ourselves and fall into greater sin. We'll read through the book of Psalms for six months, and today we read Psalm 119, verses 1 through 24, and we'll concentrate on verses 1 through 4. Psalm 119, 1 through 4 says, How blessed are those who walk as blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. How blessed are those who observe his testimonies, who seek him with all their heart. They also do no unrighteousness. They walk in his ways. You have ordained your precepts, that we should keep them diligently. Now, Psalm 119 is a psalm of encouragement, of training, and of meditation. You can read the psalm many times over and come away refreshed each time. It is the longest psalm in the Old Testament. And today, I'd like us to focus on the most fundamental aspect of our walk with God, the recognition that it is He who provides us with the instructions to keep our paths straight. Irenaeus of Lyon, who lived from 130 to 202 AD, wrote the book on the apostolic teaching. In chapter 1, he wrote, For what profit is it to know the truth in words and to pollute the flesh and perform the works of evil? Or what profit can purity of the flesh bring if truth not be in soul? For these rejoice in one another and are united and allied to bring man face to face with God. Wherefore, the Holy Spirit says by David, Blessed is the man who hath not walked in the counsel of the ungodly, that is, the counsel of the nations, who know not God. For those are ungodly, who worship not the God that truly is. And he continues, We can read the words, we can memorize the words, but if we don't internalize the words, we will find ourselves much like Paul when he wrote in Romans 7, For what profit is it to know the truth in words, and to pollute the flesh or perform the works of evil? Or what profit can purity of the flesh bring if the truth be not in the soul? These rejoice with one another and are united and allied to bring man face to face with God. Wherefore the Holy Spirit says by David, Blessed is the man who not walked in the counsel of the ungodly, that is, the counsel of the nations, which know not God. For those are ungodly who worship not the God that truly is, and therefore the word says to Moses, I am he that is, but they that worship not the God that is, these are the ungodly. When a person is so dehydrated that he is on the precipice of death, he is advised not to drink a large amount of water at one time so that his body will get used to rehydrating. Our souls are the exact same way. We are thirsting for the things of God, but to properly bring them into our lives, we must solely ingest them so they become a part of us and don't overwhelm us. As believers, we're to walk in God's ways, but we must be careful not to overwhelm ourselves and fall into greater sin. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.